if you, you didn't get a chance to talk to the to the people that gave you that, that book? Oh, not very much. Just uh, oh, you didn't get a chance to read it while you was there. What book? Oh, this book. Yeah. I'm about sixty pages into it. I mean, while you were in Louisiana, that's where you got it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I read this mostly on the, the plane coming back, and, and recently I've been back. Um, and this, see, it. this talks about how evolution is an observed mind nowadays. We've observed evolution within, um, like, like microbiology, which is uh, viruses. We, we have physically watched viruses change. That's evolution as they become anti antibiotic resistant. Um, their, their, their requirements for a host may change. We've observed that happen. Now, if, if even what you said, it's possibility that animals could evolve and we watched microbiology evolve and I see all this, it's a pretty good chance that human beings could evolve as well. Being that, that we have, you know, right. similar biology. So who, who makes that statement right there? Oh, this is referenced. Yeah. These are all, and, and so what, all the references what's, right what's, here. What's the answer to that? Um, this claim could, could only be true given an unreasonable definition of evolution. Microorganisms have been observed to evolve new functions. And this is referenced right here. Um, Williams Robert, examples of beneficial mutations in natural selection. If you go in his book, I'm, I'm sure he has a reference. So for, it's not. For it's example, I was watching this, this show on uh, Discovery Channel, and it would, it would uh, research the field mice in New York City. Mm -hmm. And. Um, over the course of 50 years, because of a bridge that was built 50 years ago, the, the mice's population was separate from the left side and the right side of the bridge. Now, 50 years later, we analyzed their DNA and it shows differences in their DNA. That doesn't say they can't uh, they can uh, reproduce, but it'll it'll basically be producing a hybrid mouse. See so this claim, what you said. No matter how many generations there are, a cat will always give birth to a cat. A, a dog, a dog, a fruit, a, that, that's what you were saying. Now this is a response. This claim is actually correct. What is mistaken is the belief that uh, this contradicts what evolution or common <coughs> descent suggests happening over time. As I was saying, that, that means it, it's, it's, it has a misunderstanding of evolution. This claim rests on misunderstanding of how class, cladistic taxonomy works. First of all, the basic structure of the claim is akin to arguing that that all the descendants of mammals are still mammals. While this claim is true, note that it does not say anything against the idea that ancient shrew like mammals could evolve into varied species like dogs, cats, elephants, and so on. All these are varied species are still rightly grouped together as mammals. Likewise, all mammals are themselves still vertebrates, even though modern vertebrates are very different from each other. See, uh, well, fruit flies will all rightly be called fruit flies. This does not preclude them from speculating spectating or changing even radically so it's just little little minute changes over time and when you change something over time you know over and over and over again that adds up you know little minute changes over 10 million years means a new animal the origin of life how did life begin how do you believe it began um I believe that that we can't readily we can't readily um, say for sure how it began because we don't have any evidence for that. And I think anybody who claims that they they know without a doubt how life began, I, I believe that that it can't be true because we can't know how life began at this point. 
we have speculations. I, I know several possibilities how it could have began. But I think anybody who asserts that they know how life began doesn't know what they're talking about because you can't know how life began at this point. Would you be willing to read these five questions? Oh, like yeah, that? most definitely. And then let me see what you think about the answers that he gave. How did it begin? Is any form of life really simple? Where did the instructions come from? Is all life descended from a common ancestor? Is it reasonable to believe in the Bible? I think by Monday? Yeah, yeah definitely. Let me entertain that. Okay. And I'll, I'll look at these two. I'll give you my thoughts. Let's see. Uh, uh, evolution is a religion. And I'm, I'm going to say that some people believe evolution as a religion. And so now, since they believe in evolution, they don't believe no, in because the, the creator. Define how, how evolution, because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not understanding what you're saying. How is evolution similar to, to a religion? Evolution is, is a scientific factor or theory. You would think that some people, they, they, they use it as their religion. So no, a religion is something that, that controls my life, that um, ha has, you know, it, it's constantly intervening in my life. It's something that, that I, I depend on. Evolution does none of those things. True evolution, is that what you're saying? Yeah, as, as evolution as defined by biologists, you know, present-day biologists. It has, you know... It's it's not like like I, I would. Can I write on this? Oh yeah, yes, that's fine. You can have that. It's, it's not a way of life. Yeah, it's, it's not a way of life at all. It's just it's a science. Modern, by, you say modern day biologists? Yeah. So I take it, Adam, you believe in evolution also? Yes. How long have you believed in evolution? Uh, probably just around eight, uh, sixth, seventh grade when I first started learning about it. Okay. Now, did they, did they teach it in school? Yeah, my, uh, in where I was raised. Okay. So no, I, I, didn't, I didn't have that. I went to elementary in the 60s. Yeah. I mean, can, can we it. agree that, that you... You don't know anything about evolution or natural selection? Yeah, I agree. Now, okay, you, you have to you, you have to ask, you know, for you to, to say something isn't true, you, you have to know about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, pe people are more likely to, to believe what you're saying if they know you know what you're talking about, you know. Mm -hmm. 